Good afternoon. Here we are. I'm Angela Burney. I'm the mayor of the city of Redmond, and it's my privilege to welcome you this afternoon to celebrate the topping out of the Redmond Senior and Community Center. Today is a milestone for the city of Redmond and our community, and I'm so thankful to each of you for joining us today. Topping out ceremonies have a long history of celebrating the construction process through gathering to sign and place the last beam or structural piece of a new building. Today we'll place the last structural panel in the highest section of our new senior and community center. As we celebrate this milestone, we're honored to have so many of you here today who have been instrumental in the project. There's a few people I'd like to personally thank and recognize for their work and contribution to this project. As I call your name, please give a wave so we can show our appreciation. First, I'd like to thank and recognize our elected officials who have supported this project and have joined us this afternoon, including King County Council Member Sarah Perry, <laughs> Redmond City Council President Jessica Forsyth, Redmond Council Vice President Vanessa Kritzer and Redmond City Council Member Melissa Stewart. Be oh, and Council Member David Carson. Thanks, David. Be that was the, we're a little late and I didn't see you come in. Uh, before I move on to rec on recognition, uh, are there any other elected officials I missed other than David? I also want to recognize that our former Parks Director, John Couch, is here as well. Where are you, John? Where'd he go? I'd like to recognize and thank the contribution from many of our city volunteers, including members of the city's Parks and Trails Commission. Just give a wave if you're here from Parks and Trails. Thanks to see you. Our Arts and Culture Commission. Where are you? I saw a few over here. Redmond Senior and Community Center Stakeholder Group. Those are and our Senior Advisory Committee. Give a wave. I want to extend a huge thank you to our staff team that is leading and managing this project as well as the architects, designers, and construction team. We have we have Lorraine Hamilton, our Parks Director. Eric Dawson, who's managing the construction. Opsis Architecture, where are they? There they are. Absher Construction, where are you guys? And Dan Becker, our owner's representative. Where's Dan? And finally, our recreation staff who have been dedicated and creative in keeping programs going in the absence of a facility and are busy planning for programming and operations in this wonderful new building. Where's, the, where's our rec staff? Give a wave. And last but not least, our finance staff who have worked diligently on the funding needed for the project. Where's finance? I saw a few of them in here. Over the past few years, I've seen the value and real difference this, that community voices make on projects like this and in all, to city, all city decision making. Input from those who live and work in Redmond is imperative for how we grow, where we spend our tax dollars, and what we prioritize. The decisions made on this project have been informed by the community through surveys, focus groups, community meetings, particip participation in boards and commissions, the senior advisory committee, and the project stakeholder group over the course of several years. Because of your input, the new facility will include a dedicated senior lounge and library, a large multi-purpose community room with a commercial kitchen for the senior lunch program, events, banquets, lectures, cultural events and performances, a gym space including an indoor walk jog track, which I could see going in before they put the roof on, so it's pretty cool. A kids zone for our youngest community members, a volunteer room, and three outdoor terraces for gathering and events. 
Our community centers are vital to a healthy community. The Redmond Senior Community Center project is a first step in addressing our community's need for dedicated space for active recreation opportunities and community gathering space. The community-based design speaks to the importance of making everyone in our diverse and wonderful community feel welcome and included, which is the very purpose of a community center. And I'm proud of that the design of the facility reflects that purpose. I'm also excited to share that this new facility will be LEED certified. Our community and city, oh, that's good. Our community and city leadership value sustainability, which is why the design includes materials selected for their resilience and durability, along with a rooftop solar panel installation that will provide up to 50% of the energy needed to operate the building. And so today, we gather together as a community to mark this next milestone in the creation of the Redmond Senior and Community Center. Our Parks and Recreation Director, Lorraine Hamilton, will lead us through signing the panel, and then our construction team will place the panel at the highest part of our new senior, our Redmond Senior and Community Center. I'd like to thank you again for attending today and for your support, involvement, and collaboration.